Hey YouTube, my darkest 99 here. It's up. Um, here's my idea for Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection Free if it comes out next year. I think it's going to be called the 5D Years or the Synchro Era. I'm not so sure, but here's my idea of what it should be. First, the promos and cards that should be in there. Um, for the promos, I'm hoping they release the remaining Met the Time Lord monsters. Here's the following. Mete on the Time Lord, Sande on the Time Lord, Raf Ratsy on the Time Lord, Tezap on the Time Lord, Zaddy on the Time Lord, Kame on the Time Lord, Raf on the Time Lord, Hai on the Time Lord, Michi on the Time Lord, Rabri on the Time Lord, and Sepha on the Time Lord. Then the Mech Lords, Vice Infinity, Skill Infinity, Wernell Infinity, and Astro Mechanical. Now, these should be coming out because these all because the Mech Lord monsters are hard to get now. A lot, but the other Time Lords are not been released in the TCG yet. Only this one here and the one up there. It's the only ones that have been released so far. Because these were to come out. We would introduce a new archetype to the TCG that would kick ass. Now here's the cards that should be in the packs. Only these are the only cards I can think of right now. To state your opinion, here's the cards: Tech Genius Drill Fish, Tech Jester Queen, Tech Genius Gear Zombie, Tech Genius Metal Skeleton, Eat Magician, Infinity Zero, Infinity Gunman, Infinity Climber, Star Bright Dragon, Sacred Knight Joan. Cluster and Wishes. It was a really good card. Crimson Blader. Bond Between Teacher and Student. Sleeping Giant Fud. Time Priestess. I might put Ch Time Angel next. Dive and Exploder. Finair of the Nordic w Wicked Wolf. And Jomagar of the Nordic Wicked Dragons. These two monsters here would make Nordics more playable. Believe it or not. Afterglow, this card right here kicks ass, Soul Binding Gate, Galahorn, this card would be a hit with Nordics, Zero Machine In, Infinite Machine and Soap, and Infinite Life and Snope R. I can't pronounce it really well because this was an OCG reveal and I can't pronounce it really well, but these three traps could really help. The Time Mich Time Lord Archetype. Barsara, very good card. And Dimensional Balance. Its effect from the anime of this card was removes the monster that attacks. And brings back one of your remove from play monsters. And ends the battle phase, I think. So yeah, the reason why these cards should be in the packs is because these were really good cards in the anime that should be released in the TCG in real life. The reason why of these free tech genius cards right here. Because these cards would make tech geniuses more interesting. Tech genius more interesting. I'm um, Jester Queen. I don't know why I put it there. I think it's really cool. Eight Magician. This card I've been talking about for a while. This card should be released soon. Zero Gunman Climber would make Affinities more playable again. Really good card. These were really good cards in the anime. Starbright Dragon. This card's really good. Really, really interesting. Sacred Knight Joan, this is a really good card. A lot of people have been wondering if it would ever be released in the TCG. Cluster and Wishes, really good card with Stardust. Crimson Blader, one of the best cards. A Circle Monster we've been waiting for to come out for a year, for a couple months now. Uh, just, you know the rest. This card would be good with Machines. Really good with Machines. Its effect's not even funny. So yeah, um... Please tell me what you think what should be coming for Legendary Collection Free. And please submit me your ideas. I would, would, would gladly appreciate it. So yeah, these are just my ideas, my thoughts of what it should be. If it ever comes out. I'll have another video separating the Time Lord Archer Trip, my discussion. How I would do it later on. Maybe tomorrow. Bro. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later YouTube.